Welcome to St. Andrew's Daily Prayer for March the 10th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. A reading from Psalm 22 My God, my God, why have you forsaken me, and are so far from my salvation, from the words of my distress? O my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer, and by night also, but I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One, enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forebears trusted in you. They trusted, and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They put their trust in you and were not confounded. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, scorned by all and despised by the people. All who see me laugh me to scorn. They curl their lips and wag their heads, saying, He trusted in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him deliver him if he delights in him. But it is you that took me out of the womb and laid me safe upon my mother's breast. On you was I cast ever since I was born. You are my God, even from my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near at hand, and there is none to help. Mighty oxen come around me. Fat bulls of Bashan close me in on every side. They gape upon me with their mouths, as it were a ramping and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart has become like wax, melting in the depths of my body. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd. My tongue cleaves to my gums. You have laid me in the dust of death. For the hounds are all about me. The pack of evildoers close in on me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They stand staring and looking upon me. They divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. Be not far from me, O Lord. You are my strength. Hasten to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my poor life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, from the horns of wild oxen. You have answered me. I will tell of your name to my people. In the midst of the congregation will I praise you. Praise the Lord, you that fear him. O seed of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, O seed of Israel. For he has not despised nor abhorred the suffering of the poor. Neither has he hidden his face from them. But when they cried to him, he heard them. From you comes my praise in the great congregation, I will perform my vows in the presence of those that fear you. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord shall praise him. Their hearts shall live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall bow before him. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he rules over the nations. How can those who sleep in the earth bow down in worship, or those who go down to the dust kneel before him. He has saved my life for himself. My descendants shall serve him. This shall be told of the Lord for generations to come. They shall come and make known his salvation to a people yet unborn, declaring that he, the Lord, has done it. Let us pray. Restless with grief and fear, the abandoned turn to you in every hour of trial. Good Lord, deliver us, O God most holy, God most strong, whose wisdom is the cross of Christ. Amen. Our Gospel reading today is from Mark chapter 6, verses 45 to 56. Immediately, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to Bethsaida while he dismissed the crowd. After leaving them, he went up on a mountainside to pray. Later that night, the boat was in the middle of the lake, and he was alone on land. He saw the disciples straining at the oars, because the wind was against them. 
Shortly before dawn, he went out to them, walking on the lake. He was about to pass by them, but when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought he was a ghost. They cried out, because they all saw him and were terrified. Immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Then he climbed into the boat with them, and the wind died down. They were completely amazed, for they had not understood about the loaves. Their hearts were hardened. When they had crossed over, they landed at Gennesaret and anchored there. As soon as they got out of the boat, people recognized Jesus. They ran throughout that whole region and carried the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, into villages, towns, or countryside, they placed the sick in the marketplaces. They begged him to let them touch even the edge of his cloak, and all who touched it were healed. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. By the power of the Spirit, and in unity with Christ, trusting always in God's life-giving intent for creation, let us pray. God of love, you formed this planet to be the home in which we can flourish, and charged us to be good stewards of this gift for the generations that will come after us. Grant us a little of your love and care as we interact with the natural world you have made. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who lead in governments, businesses, and organizations of all kinds, that they may orient their leadership around the values of your kingdom with hearts for justice, fairness, dignity, and honesty. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for the Presbyterian Church in Canada, of which we are a part. Govern and direct your church, fill it with love and truth, and grant it that unity which is your will for your people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, your Son came among us as a child, and as an adult saw in children the model of true faith. Bless with your love all the children of this earth and our own St. Andrew's Sunday School, that they may thrive as they grow up in their faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are vulnerable this day, especially for those who have been abused by the cruelty of others, that they may begin to heal from the trauma of the past. We pray too for those who deliberately hurt others, Renew their compassion for the lives of other people and teach them to walk in the path that is right. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for women living in Palestine who are suffering sorrow and heartache as they struggle to hold their families together in times of violence and oppression. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and most merciful God, you have given us a new commandment that we should love one another. Give us grace to fulfill it. Make us gentle, courteous, and kind. Direct our lives and help us to be aware of the needs of others, that together we may grow in love and live in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me as we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God grant to the world justice, truth, and peace. Amen.